Okie dokie, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the localhost blog um, and um, all of the things we missed off of <laughs> the uh, the initial sort of uh, blog post we did um, got a, uh, th this this is like the, the project up to the point of um, just finishing off that really long blog post and video series um, and uh, in this one I'm just going to be going through adding some plugins um, just reiterating where we were when we left off last time um, and um, just sort of um, clearing up where we were so um, if you don't recall last time I worked on this we had uh, the file structure the folder structure uh, which was just breaking down each of the individual posts into like months um, just we had a, a nicer sort of filing structure for um, uh, for, for, for all of the posts in our project um, and um, yeah I mean um, I'm, I'm sort of putting uh, a project on the github part for the journey to v1 um, and there's this uh, there's several sort of pull requests I need to get merged into it as well so um, first up I'd say um, let's just take a look at these pull requests so if I hold down control and then click on this button here um, it's going to pop open anything which is outstanding. So um, let's just go through these right. Actually, not go right now because in our project here, uh, has this been put up to GitHub? Okay, so it's been pushed already. Um, so I think we need to make a pull request for this as well. So I'm using the hub now, um, which is like a um, just an extension of GitHub. Um, so what we're we going to say is that going to be straight to master. Oh wow! Uh, let's just put this into develop for now, uh, and then we'll look at moving it over to uh, master, possibly at the end of this video. Just just uh, depending on how long it is. So um, what have we called it? Uh, folder something. Right, update folder structure, we're going to write that out and then push it up to GitHub. And then uh, we'll go to this, here's the pull request here. And then we'll merge this in and then we'll just work from the dev branch and then we'll get these, uh, uh, these pull requests put in here as well. So um, I've got a, uh, a plugin which is called Refined GitHub. Yeah, this is it here. Um, which auto deletes um, branches so um, if you do use it just be careful of that um, okay let's just go through what we've got at the moment so let's go check out our develop branch here and then we'll pull this and then while we're doing that rattle through um, these outstanding pull requests we've got here these will be into patch um, so I think that's how I have set up the um, the renovate bot uh, which is this here renovate which will just find out any out of date uh, dependencies and update them for us so um, let's just go yeah this is going into patch here so if we just merge these here uh, can I use Vimium here let's just go delete the branches for me it's the same we'll do F or Vimium um, I've made a video on this um, it's just handy for when you've got to rattle through um, a lot of stuff on screen in GitHub. Um, it just highlights your links for you. So this is uh, MDX being updated. We do F and then JD here. Um, and then tab away and then back into that input box so we can merge it. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Uh, this is that's be being updated. And uh, just like the proof. And then we'll go back to um, resolve conflicts. Yeah, we'll just leave that as um, for uh, the renovate bot to um, uh, what's the word for it? We'll rebase this, um, and then we'll be able to um, merge this in here. So while that's doing that, let's um, let's close this actually because that must be super small on the screen, and we will go to uh, rendevelop. 
and uh, we'll go OBS code here, and then this will pop open uh, just a bit of a larger font, so we can all take a look. Right, so um, I noticed that this need to uh, redirect redirect file. Um, we're not going to do that yet. Um, so um, what are we going to do? We're going to take a look. Right, we can merge this. Renovate bot has done its thing. Let's just merge this in, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll merge patch into uh, develop, and then we've got a nice up to date. Uh, base to work off of. So, um, patch, and this this sort of dialogue pops up here. This is also for um, refined GitHub by Cinder Sawhus. Right, we'll just put these to develop. So, I'm not sure if you noticed earlier, but we had a lot of. Uh, uh, branches here, so let's just create a PR for this and then uh, we'll merge this in and then we'll deal with it locally. Got stuff in there, uh, check. Um, sorry for scrolling up and down there, let's just merge this. Okie doke, and now from our terminal, we can. So um, I do PP, which is pull and push. Um, so I've just got into the habit of doing it now. If we take a look at what P PP is, <laughs> um, if we do uh, git config here, and what have I got PP as? Um, oh, it's not even in my git config. It will be in my uh, functions. I'm looking for. So, oh, I'm going to have to find out what it is and uh, let you know. It's um, it's a fish alias I've got set up, um, which is basically uh, pull, git pull, and then just git push. Um, and I've just put it into one one alias to use in uh, fish shell. Anyway, moving on. Um, we have this uh, patch. It's now gone into dev. Um, patch hasn't been deleted because we've got... Um, we have some branch rules set up in our settings here. So if we go to branches, we can see that we've got a uh, master patch and develop. They've, they've all got um, branch protection added on them with some more rules. Um, so if we go to um, patch here, um, it, it just requires that um, the branches are up to date before merging. Um, and they can just put some um, just put some protection on it so the branch doesn't ac accidentally get deleted. Um, okay, less of that. So let's take a look at our terminal here. And then yes, let's just get everything up to date. So we'll install the uh, what we pulled from. Did we do a pull? Yeah, we did. Um, oops. Um, that is not the size I want this. There we go. Cool. Right, so um, while this is all installing, let's take um, a look at our what we've got to do for our project. So it's journey to V1. Um, I don't think we're going to need that to open anymore or that, that for now. Um, and then we're just going to look at adding some plugins, I'd say. So we've got sitemap XML, uh, add robots.txt. Uh, add an RSS feed, maybe that's a video in itself. Um, no font set for body, no favicon, uh, no images for blog posts. So let's just get done with um, some plugins. So, what we're going to need is uh, Gatsby XML. Map, sorry, not XML. Oh, what happened now? Okay, let's be plugging in. Let's be plugging sitemap. Okay, look. So, what we'll do is we'll just get this installed for this video. 
um, along with uh, the other uh, plugin that was missing. So we'll just copy this, go to our terminal here. Um, everything seems to have installed fine. So let's split this out here and uh, we'll go into fish terminal here and we'll say yarn dev and then that'll pop open a new window here for us um, and then we're going to yarn add um, guess we're plugging sitemap um, why that went off into another tab there super um, sensitive mouse and uh, robots.txt Um, we'll do, I think we'll leave the RSS feed for another video. Um, and uh, maybe we'll do a Gatsby image for a, a separate video too. So um, sort of cutting myself short on time for, for this video now, but um, I think um, this has been going on long enough. You're probably tired of listening to my voice. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just go get these configured and um, pop this in here. So we've got uh, our, uh, we're going to add these two plugins here. And I think we need to wait for the site to finish building. It's taking a really long time. I think that's because I've just chucked in um, all of the um, images from my other blog. So it's probably taken a while to work through them all. Uh, yeah, generate an image from now. So um, yeah, I'll have that cached for the next time we run it. So now with um, our plugins being installed here, uh, we're going to need to configure them. So off on our get speed config. Um, let's take a look at the documentation for uh, get speed robots. Now I'm thinking for uh, this one. But now there is some stuff we're going to want to avoid. But um, I think just for the interim part here, we can just do that. And I think it will be the same for the sitemap. Okay, so we've got localhost blog here, got a list of blog posts, and um, looks like we've got a Gatsby image working on the index page here. Um, look, cool, 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 cool. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff here we need to work on. So. Um, We'll get those added in. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to add in uh, a YouTube uh, plugin for the videos here. Um, we can do that once we get these two ones configured. So it gets me plugin sitemap. You know what? I've just gone to this link here, navigated here, just so I can copy paste this <laughs> into a configuration file. Yeah, lazy dev. Right, um, so let's just take a quick look at the sitemap. I think it's the same as with um, the, uh, the robots.txt file for uh, the purposes of this so far. That will be fine. Um, so if we just hit save here, and then we go over to our uh, changes in this code here. Um, we can set these in as uh, add sitemap, add robots.txt. Hit enter, uh, control enter for that. Oh, they're in there. And we have those configured. Cool, okay, so put that into in progress um, along with that. Um, and um, I think we can do now. This is going to be a uh, sort of configuration again, along with this, um, and then images for blog posts. I think these are all separate videos. So I think for now, for this video, we're just going to leave it as uh, configuring um, robots.txt and uh, guess we plug in sitemap. Um, and could we, we push them up and test them? Actually, let's do that. Let's just do that for now. So go to our terminal and then, um, we will make a pull request. So everything's committed. So we do git, git status, nothing to commit. And we're to do a, a git pull request here. And we'll just put this into master. 
and then if we look here there's a there's a fair few changes so um, add posts configure plugins and then we'll just go over that for now write that out to x open it up merge it in um, actually we need to wait for oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here um oh no we don't as i say i think we need to wait for um netlify but uh, the way i have it configured at the moment uh because i, I was hammering my build minutes um is that I've, I've just taken all the integrations off um so i think the way that this is going to work is i'm just going to push this up manually with um netlify if I deploy, is that it? And then this will um, push up everything for us. Um, I think it's it's worked out that it's um, already on Netlify. Um, so we can just take a look at this here. I think. There we go. Click on that link there. The user control and click. Um, Okay, so this is this is just going to be processing. Oh, site is live. Take a look. That was really quick, um, and obviously it didn't work because I think I need to build it locally. Um, let's take a look. What's it doing? Uploading page. Hmm. Everything doesn't look good. Okay, let's just uh, go on build. And then we'll push it up. But um, this doesn't really make great uh, YouTube watching. So um, I think what I'll do is... Um, um, I'll do this off cam. Um, and then we'll catch up in the next video. For the, uh, the additional items on our project list. So um what we're going to do is leave leave like i said just leave this for now and then we'll pick it up in the next video with the other parts on the project list so thank you for watching um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found something in there useful um and if you did please uh, remember to like comment and subscribe and um i'll catch you in the next one thanks a lot Bye bye